Houston in the fourth and final showdown of the regular season tonight at the American Airlines Center as we roll into the month of April with only 13 days left in the regular season. Of course, the Mavericks pretty much a sure thing there in that seventh place slot in the Western Conference. Who they're going to play still up for grabs. The Houston Rockets could be one of those teams. Tonight was a key performance for both teams. Hey, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm Tamara Jolie. This is the D210 TV postgame show right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. And I'm Mercedes Owens. Now, tonight, the Mavericks look to strong, playing the second game in a back-to-back. -back. We thought they were going to work off the momentum until Houston came back in the fourth quarter to seal the deal and win it all. Your final score, 108 to 101. Coach Carlisle, you didn't want to talk about even potential teams in the first round of the playoffs. But Amari Stoudemire and Tyson Chandler keeping it real always, they say they understand what's at stake in the standings, and they say they like their chances against this Houston team. I like our chances in this series. I feel like tonight was a very winnable game. Uh, I feel like if we stuck to our strategy, and uh, we we'll come out here with a win. We all see the standings. We all, you know, tune in to what, what teams are doing at this, at this point down the stretch. Um, so we know this can be a, a first-round matchup, potentially. Uh, but again, you know, we, we had a chance to win tonight. We just didn't play well in the second half. Dirk Nowitzki led all Mavericks shooters with 21 points in a game that was close from the tip. In fact, there were 10 ties, six lead changes. The Mavericks led by as much as 11 points until that epic collapse in the fourth quarter. Dallas knew they had to shut down Houston from the perimeter if they wanted to win this game. They were able to do that most of the game until the fourth quarter. That's right, Tamara. Houston was able to close it out down the stretch. Now for more on the Rockets, here's Lizette Alvarez. As they race to the finish with just two weeks left, the Houston Rockets knew coming into tonight's game that a win was crucial in order to gain that second spot in the Western Conference, and they did just that tonight. It was more just the guys, on, the two guys on the ball being being much more decisive. We were switching, we had to switch up, take away the roll. Um, guys, guys are just more decisive. When you're decisive, everybody knows what you're doing. When you're in between, nobody knew if we were switching or not. And we had we had different coverages, and we just got you know we, we just got tighter. Again. The Rockets often centers around the three ball and came into tonight averaging 33 shots beyond the arc per game and tonight about the same finishing with 31. No other team in the NBA shoots as many three pointers as they do. The Rockets came into the fourth quarter with urgency and aggressiveness and the main game changer was the offensive rebounds as Houston finished with 17. We have situations where we test our character as a team. Um, we're playing against a great offensive team it's, it's Dallas. Uh, we have to find ways to, you know, really communicate on the defensive end and get stops. And I think we did that tonight. And uh, we showed a lot of character by uh, picking up the pace in the second half. You know, like I said, in the first half, we came out and we didn't talk and everybody was trying to do their own thing. We came in the locker room and we talked it out amongst ourselves and then went back out there and got a win. Five Rocket players finished the night in double figures. James Harden led the way with 24 points as he continues to push for an MVP bid. We're just growing, man. We're growing as a team. You know, we're growing as a team. We, we, uh, we're, we're starting to execute down the stretch, and that's going to be very important for us, uh, especially in the playoffs. You know, playoffs is a uh, position by, by position game. You know, so as long as we can lock in and, and focus on what we need to do, uh, we'll be all right. The Houston Rockets will continue their road trip as they head to Oklahoma City to take on the Thunder Saturday night. I'm Lissette Alvarez with D210 TV and Tom Warner Cable Sports. Back to you, Tamara Mercedes. The Dallas Mavericks will get Friday night off as they gear up for Saturday's matchup with hopefully a healthy Chandler Parsons. In fact, they're not even going through practice tomorrow because they're coming off back-to-back -back nights with a veteran team like the Mavericks. They need a little bit of rest, so they'll be back here in two more days to try to get a victory. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Tamara Jolie. This is the D210 TV Mavericks postgame show right here on Time Warner Sports Channel. And I'm Mercedes Owens. You've just been credentialed.